Hey guys, for those of you who ask me how to upgrade the Sino to the latest version, this is pretty much the same process every time you kind of be, you are going to be doing it. Um, now, so let's get started. So currently I have Sino GUI running. Uh, I just turn it off um, here. So this is my account right now. Yes, I got lots and lots of bags, but doesn't matter. So I turn it off. So right now, as you can see, there's no gunbot running at the, at the bottom here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and close the um, the session, right? 702 SAT 131. So I'm just going to close the session. Uh, I'm using VPS right now, so it might take a while for it to, I know, reflect. But it shouldn't take this long. I don't know what's going on here. Just going to see if we can launch it again. That was weird. I don't know why it asked that, but hey, you know, this is this is what it is, guys. Sometimes if thing doesn't work, you just have to try a different way. So here we go, round two. I'm trying to click. There we go. It works. Beautiful. Now, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to replicate the folder because just how I like it. I want to make sure it's clean. So I click copy and I literally just click paste. It might take a few minutes or something. I don't know. In the meantime, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder. Called Gunbot Auto Versions, right? So, for example, I have done. Uh, it did very um, good. Good option. Sorry, Gunbot XT six version six did a very good job for me back in the day. But now, you know, we just can put them away. Uh, that's it. Does its job. There's a version three point three as well. I don't know where it's gone, but hey. It serves its purpose, and now I, move, I have moved on. Um, probably in here somewhere, I would say. Yeah, probably one of these for, um, folder. That was my version 3. Back in the day, um, as you can see, it's like massive files going on here. So, Gunty.log, something like that. Maybe um, you might want to either remove them, or you can leave it as it is. It's up to you. Uh, I just realized it's like wow I didn't I didn't know it I did not know there was such a big huge file log file there um, we're talking like you know a few gigabyte like normally why why did that take so long so probably it's gonna take about three minutes so I'm just gonna pause the video and until it's done okay so about 30 seconds left now I kind of one more thing um, when you close the app and other stuff sometimes it's best to just bring up task manager and just go through go through like the details sometimes they might leave them like dust like the, not dust like a, an open app like this even though you close them it's still open so you're like gonna go back in there and kind of close them as well so in this case um, it's done so that's all good so I have pretty much um, got the copy version of this right I'm going to go ahead and dump that thing in there and since I do not need uh, a 9 gig of lock yeah there we go a Gunthi lock file is 9 gigabytes so I'm just going to delete it I don't need it um, now I'm going to go oh, sorry I'm actually in the wrong um, screen here <coughs> So this would be uh, Telegram. First of all, there's two places that you need to go. One is called Telegram, and the other one is uh, Sino GUI released. So what I do, what I normally do, is just type in Sino GUI and then type in release GitHub. That would bring me a uh, this link. So you, that's what you're looking for. Sino Crypto, Sino GUI release. You click on it. It bring up this one. You go ahead and download 1.35. That's downloading, which is good. Next, uh, next thing or what I would do, um, I would need to uh, go to my te Telegram account and generate a new license file from the um, thing. So if I, br um, I'm just going to do a search called Sino underscore GUI assistant, right? So that's what I need. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, download a license file. And then I download 1.35 because that's what we need. 
Okay, so that kind of like ready. You have to click download. Now it's done. Both of these files are sit Both of these files are sitting <coughs> in the um, download folder. <coughs> it just depends on how you guys set it up, but that's what I set set mine up as. So I got this one, and before I do anything, I want to rename my folder, my new folder that I just created or copy to 5, yeah, 1.35 just like that, nice and simple. I double click it, double click it and then I literally just drag and drop, oh gee, drag and drop, okay, so now it's just going to go ahead and replace it because I'm using a different version anyway. So that doesn't ma does not matter for me. Next thing, I'm going to bring up Synergy UI Win 31.35. This thing takes forever to load. I don't know what is going on. There we go. All right, from here, it's really easy. It's really easy. I'm just going to close this to make my life easier. I'm just going to copy the first two folder, um, two files, or one, one folder and one file, and you just drag and drop it. And you basically you want to go, yes, I want to replace, and that is done. Now, guys, all the next thing you need to do is just click on Sino and see if it's running. It should be running. So there we go. It's updating the configuration thing, pet license enabled blah, blah. and again I ha I kept telling you guys if this stuck for like 10 seconds just close it, do it again it's to do with like a, I don't know what is the cause and I couldn't be bother um, investigating at the moment um, but the quick fix is just you know get out click again and it's done so uh, I'm just gonna launch my um, Ganti here And that's it. <coughs> and that's how you run your Ganti guys, um, or how you update your Sino file. So apparently with the Sino file, they have some sort of like new configuration as well. Um, I have no idea where they are yet. I'm just gonna click around with you guys. So this is where you can um, add and change the group, which you already know. Click on that, it's the um, order, open order, if there's any order open. Click on profit and loss, it will bring up your profit and loss. And see, nothing there. I'm going to click here, see what's going on. So there's tons of rate because I'm holding back. So yeah, fair call. Graph still the same. Uh, the config here. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to do some training as well um, for those people who want to find out how to use the, you know, uh, Sino GUI. So as you can see, like different tab can I provide different things. Profit and loss, we bring up like profit and loss of the, the pair that you're running. Um, console lock, this one will, will show up when you actually run the bot itself. So let's say if I just click run here, now there should be a few things firing it up. Yeah, so I'm running a few instances. So now that thing is running, if you click console lock, this is actually what GunBot actually showing. I'm sure you're familiar with this screen somewhat. Um, I just, you know, what's showing there, but then this is just like an abbreviation of, of the GunBot itself. Now, because now, because the GunBot is now kicking it off, it, it already grabbed a data from my BTG and burst um, and whatnot. And then I'm just gonna click uh, this this probably wouldn't work yet, but this see as, as you can see here, there's no line, right? There's no buy now, buy line, and sell line. Whereas once it's kind of bot start working, and, and for that pair, it will grab the buy and sell range. So this is pretty much the um that would be a purchase line. The sell line probably like way higher because I'm thirty percent. There we go. Sell line is up the top here. Buy line is down here. <coughs> um, and and how to look at this is. Right now, you are about four point. I, I am about four point four percent away or minus away from um, buying. If if it turned like double buy on, right? 
so that we keep, we're trying to buy again now this one sell range currently I'm down by 26.7% from the bought price so I have lost 26% what well, I haven't lost yet until it's sold. If, if, if I sold this manually, I would lost 26%. But if I don't, you know, just keep it as it is. So that's what it means. Um, this is the exchange you're running, BTC, BTG, as you already know. That is got to do with, you know, what what's your primary currency and what's your um, pair that you want to use for the bot, for the bot to use. And then that's the, the, the setting that you want to run. This button here, you pretty much can go into change different group strategy, uh, settings, and so on and so on. You can change all that as well. Uh, actually, there's one more thing that's pretty cool. So when you click on that thing and you click here, you can actually adjust a few things. You can sh say you want to show a trade, you want to show a target, you can adjust the time zone, you know, whatever you guys want to do. And then you can click to apply all. You can get that from config. So that's somehow wrong. Doesn't matter. That This is good. You know, I'm showing you. So that can adjust how the um, the BB was displaying and, and and would the bot do that and then that's not a button next to this is trading view it's really cool so it's like a little um, trading view plugin software thing where just show up they like show this very quickly I like it a lot sometimes use it to look up the um, RSI um, data because you know, obviously like the normal graph here doesn't show RSI <coughs> yet <laughs> Next, uh, this one is a GunBot configuration. So if you click on it, you can see all different type of GunBot config config. You personally, I, I use like bot delay 2, bot clean every hour, um, everything else pretty much as the same uh, as, as a default setting, except those two. Now with the GunBot delay, if you're using Binance, you might want, you might want to delay to like 5 or something because there's some issues at the moment. I don't know if it's fixed yet, but hey, I just want to let you know. GunBot strategy. Obviously, this will show you, you know, different gunbot strategy and whatnot. Um, okay, now the emotion is displaying here. Yeah, usually, it's up top. So right now, the BB is up the top, sort by the name. I like it. Um, you know, pretty straightforward. This is default. Obviously, um, there has a few uh, explanation. I actually did a, a tutorial once on, you know, different um, explanation of the settings. Also, there's a wiki as well for you guys to go and have a look. So that's that. This is the um, power button, of course, and this one basically is showing my my CPU and RAM on my machine, whatever the machine you are, um, your bot is running, and how long it's been up for. Next balance currently with this account, I have zero point one seven four um, BTC running, um, or in that account, and roughly I have zero point zero zero three left to trade. Okay. Uh, and this is in BTC, guys. When you put your mouse here, it actually literally saying BTC only. And why does it display like this? Because, like, even in your exchange, whether it's Bit Bitrex, Polynex, um, Binance, anything, they always give you an estimate BTC value. And that's what it is. That's what it does. So it's just showing you what your estimate value is right there. <coughs> Next, sort, sorting and filtering. I actually quite like this one. I personally prefer to have recent trade on a second, second one because that way I know that was the last one that was traded. And how do um how am I so sure? Well, I believe the system first of all. But if you click here on profit and loss, you will see that yesterday or day before I think there was a trade um, buy. Um, so on a twentieth today is twenty second. Um, there's there's a bot there on on a twentieth at two p.m. two twenty five. Now if you click one lower than that power <coughs> this one was bought at 147 on the 20th as you can see it's pretty pretty efficient to see which one was traded um, last and that's how I like it grid options up to you how you guys want to do it you, if you're using a mobile um, I recommend you turn it to 10 that way it won't um, crash your mobile like what it does what it did to mine <laughs> it's crazy anyway next one another and then main setting here this is brand new for me as well. So let's do this. So change server, like password and port number, blah, blah, blah. So this is all, oh, you know, can change your password and different port numbers and things like that. Wow, they removed the, um, <laughs> he removed the, <coughs> the um, API and the secret key there, which is nice. I like it. It's quite clean. 
Next, um, exchanges. This is probably how where you're adding, manage your exchange and configure your API, which is pretty cool. So exchanges. I saw in the um, I saw it in the uh, in the wiki. It's very awesome. So you have like more API here. Obviously, we show you put in your um, API secret and kind of give you a, a you know this is your API key and this is your a that's cool. I like it. Um, <clears throat> All right. So next one, uh, Telegram bot. I think now you can set up a different Telegram bot um, to communicate. I don't use it, it even though I kind of had it before. I don't use it anymore. But it's up to you guys. If you guys want to use it, use it. You know, no big fuss for me. Um, next one is instances. I have four, so I set up spare out your pair. Too many per instances. I have eight pair. Uh, this is on Bitrex, guys. So Bitrix can handle um, many different pairs. So you know you just select whatever you want. Um, in this case, I click on maximum pair. I click eight, and I click apply, and that's done. It does its job. Four. Come on, last one. Beautiful. Okay, now it's working. Let's go back again one more time. Mass apply. This is very exciting. I kind of saw it. It was like, yeah, well done. So mass apply. Apparently, you can change. Like you can tick the pair that you want. Select a pair from the list. So, oh, that it, that looks sexy. Um, <laughs> so you can click this, and you can just you know change whatever you want in in a mass apply. And that is really cool. You can easily now clear override, remove pair. Oh, that is nasty. I like it. Well, um, the guy, the developer, SJQs, he did an amazing job. Well, bro, well done. <clears throat> okay, next one, add pair. So pretty much to what you guys saw before or have used before. If you haven't, that now this is how you're adding the pair. Pretty much the same. Um, hasn't changed anything here. So you select a pair. You um, you know you can group them straight away. You can change the strategy. Click confirm, and you're good to go. Uh, the rest is security to do with SSH and um, so not SSH SSL security server layer. Uh, to create a HTTPS, you can turn on TFA as well and a log file. Pretty much, guys. That's pretty much um, I went pretty much over everything from. How to install or upgrade your Zeno GUI and explaining the whole um, Zeno really and how to use the app. You know, once you turn it on, just leave it running and let it go. You know, let, let it do things. Anyway, guys, um, that is it for today. Uh, Poi is signing off. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I do sell Gunbot and also uh, I can provide you with a Zeno GUI reseller code as well. Uh, not reseller code, discount code as well. Um, let me know. Um, just ping me on t on Telegram, Poi TV, or just message me here, and I will do my best to uh, reply to you guys. Talk to you soon. See you in the next video.